Thank you for watching this video. If you like this one and you want to see more, please support my channel by smashing the like button, hitting subscribe, and the bell notification next to it. If you're thinking about buying or selling a home anywhere in the San Francisco Bay Area, please feel free to call or email me. My contact information is in the description of this video. Link 33 in Redwood City is a brand new townhome community with, you guessed it, 33 attached townhomes. This property was built by KB Home, and I wanted to say thank you to Carolina Gabriel, the sales associate with this new community, for allowing us to have a very early look. So now we are going to tour the other model, two bedroom, two bath floor plan. This one is 1150 square feet. As I said, two bedroom, two bath, two car garage. This one is only two stories as opposed to three. Let's walk in. First things first, I believe that the flooring material is the same color, although it's different. Those were smaller and the pattern was like a diagonal pattern. Whereas the flooring here, which to me actually looks like you know, I can't really tell. With the new luxury vinyl floors and the engineered wood and everything, all this new modern technology flooring material, it's really tough to tell. So I actually cannot tell if this is luxury vinyl or engineered wood flooring. But luxury vinyl looks so good nowadays, it's hard to tell. Um, but there is a fairly significant price difference. Watch your step here. Oh, here you have a little closet here under the stairs. Let's go into the garage. Again, a large two-car garage, plenty of space to park two large vehicles or set up a nice home gym. Tankless water heater here and a electrical sub-panel here. Here already we see it's a, a little different style of carpet. So new developments, oftentimes they will switch up the style of each unit just a little bit, maybe different color flooring, different flooring material, as we see here, different pattern of flooring, um, different carpet. I think the paint colors are the same though. Nice neutral color again, goes with the walls, goes with the rest of the place. It looks like a, a little bit more higher end carpeting material. So. Um, it'll withstand thousands upon thousands of footsteps every day. One thing you'll actually notice is the way that these are laid out, you don't have the higher ceiling up here because this is, I believe, the staircase to the three-story two-bedroom units. Not a huge deal because this is still nice and bright and, and you still have the nine foot ceilings and you still have a lot of windows. So it still looks very nice. Um, that's just one of the main differences from the other two bedroom unit, the 1375 square feet. Other than that, the floor plan looks to be almost identical unless I'm missing a little bit of square footage from the last one, but I don't think I am. So clearly we see from the other model unit that we toured, they went with the light colored counters and cabinets. So white cabinets, very light, most likely quartz countertop. We still have the Echo B smart thermostat. We still have the air conditioning and the furnace. However, the furnace is right in here, which is kind of like the attic for this unit, but we're still below the living area for the other floor plan, the 1375 square feet, two bed, two bath floor plan. Again, a very nice large sink, gas, stove, range, burner, whatever you'd like to call it. But this time the appliances are Whirlpool instead of KitchenAid. So we have an oven here, we have the microwave there. Oh, that's a little bit different. We didn't have a microwave in the other unit, we just had the hood to each their own, but this one still has the exhaust. It still goes through, I'm sure of it. Yep, we still have the exhaust there. No refrigerator here, so that leads me to believe that the basic when you buy these units, don't come with a refrigerator, don't come with a washer, dryer, and uh, don't come with some of the other high-end finishes that we saw in the last unit. 
Um, those are upgrades, or you can buy them yourself likely and just put them in. But I like the white cabinets. I like the light colors. I would say I like this one a little bit more than the last one. I liked it. I thought it was great, but generally I like lighter color uh, cabinets and counters more, but everybody is different and different people like different things. I think even the faucet on the last unit though was a little bit upgraded. Oh, this one does have water. We have water. Let's take a look here. I, I believe it is the exact same floor plan. So let's walk through this bedroom. So this one is not staged. Again, the eight foot doors, nine foot ceilings, as I mentioned, got the furnace up above. Let's take a look at this bathroom. Okay, so actually, now this leads me to believe that the flooring in here is luxury vinyl because they brought it in to the bathroom. You could bring engineered wood into the bathroom, um, but generally speaking, you want a more waterproof material and vinyl is that waterproof material. So my thinking is that it's luxury vinyl throughout and to get engineered flooring, that's another upgrade. I like it personally when the same flooring continues. Um, obviously tile in a bathroom is really nice or tile like material and a little bit of contrast between the rest of the house. But I'm personally a fan of this. Again, light cabinets, light counters, big bathtub, light, bright, generally pretty neutral. So most people are gonna come in and wanna paint the walls the color that they like, and that's great. But for me, this is, this is nice. I'm a fan. So let's go into the master. To me, this one maybe feels a tad bit smaller than the other one, but I might be completely wrong. Um, this may be the exact same floor plan as the other one, except for that one has that extra floor with the extra patio area. Let me just do a little walk around here. Your cables, you have electro outlets everywhere. Um, let me point out one thing if we come in. So if you take a look, this one is upside down while the rest are not. Why would that be? Why would they make such a mistake? Well, they didn't make a mistake. They did it on purpose so that you know which outlet is controlled by that switch. So then if you plug in a lamp or you plug in something there, you can control that one outlet with this. Well, this controls the recessed lighting. So this is probably the standard flooring that comes in. I don't know if this is an upgrade. Similar to the main bathroom, the hallway bathroom flooring that we saw in the other unit. But again, nice, light color, has a little bit of design elements. Here, the counter is different. I think it's just a tad bit different because it doesn't look as light. Either way, it's nice. My best guess now is that a mirror of some sort like this already does come, although it's not an attached, you know, it's not like a built-in mirror. It's just a hammered up. Okay, so you don't have the fancy hexagon tiles on the back here. Obviously we don't have the marble flooring here. This looks to me like that uh, luxury vinyl tile stuff, which is still very good and I like it actually. This is nice here. And then the same walk-in closet. Plenty of space. Perfect. liked this video, please support me by smashing the like button, hitting subscribe, and the bell notification next to it. If you're interested in getting more information or want to schedule a tour of this great new property, then please feel free to call or email me. My contact information is in the description to this video.